Today's video will be split into two different categories, obvious tips and not so known tips. So first of all, let's go into the obvious tips. My first obvious tip is that you should get all of your books right when you spawn into campus 2, which gives you an XP boost through the book bonus whenever you go into a class, and do all homework once the day ends for the big XP boost, and you also should not buy the lunch food because it wastes your diamonds. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know those tips though, so let's go into the second obvious tip. The second obvious tip is to get a dorm to sleep. And sleep during either lunch or once the day ends or if you're really close to leveling up. You can basically sleep anytime you want if you're really close to getting to the next level but if you don't sleep for a while then it'll like build up more XP that you can get the more you don't sleep. So I recommend either doing it during lunch or once the day ends. Number three is that you can always grab diamonds in between classes instead of just AFK. I've been able to get hundreds of thousands of diamonds over my farming time getting to level 1000. So I started at about 1.3 million and now I'm at 1.6 million. Keep in mind I do have multipliers, but I've been able to get a ton of diamonds through just like getting diamonds in between classes. Number four is to go to the bench before PE starts so you can skip almost the entire course. This also applies to swimming where you can just sit in the bleachers or any other chair around the pool and you won't have to jump during the mini game. Now let's go on to some not so known tips that you might not know. So the PE diamonds are kind of weird because they you can only like actually get diamonds from them when you bump into them while the class is going on. I don't know why that happens. So what I do is that I basically just go through and get all the diamonds in like the hoops first and then I go back and I get the yellow diamonds in the hoops in the start of the course and on right after you jump up onto like the area near the baking area. So yeah, I do that and then I ring the bell. This only works if you're in a private server by yourself because if you're not by yourself then you'll be the second one to ring the bell or like the fifth one or whatever and you won't get an A so this only works if you're by yourself but if you are then make sure to follow this tip because you can get a bunch of extra diamonds in the PE class. The second not so known tip is that once you sit down in the swimming class you can not only skip the jumping part but you can also collect diamonds around the map. So this you gotta be careful doing this though because if you go close to where the actual class takes place then you will start um and go teleport back onto the like jumping thing you'll have to actually do the class so make sure you just like go around and like get out of where the swimming area is and then go and collect all the diamonds in other parts of the school such as inside of the actual school itself and outside the school um, I should have some footage of like where I go. You can't fly though until the class ends so just keep that in mind so like don't go to places where diamonds aren't usually because then you won't be able to like fly out of there while the class is still going on. The third tip is that I have a few places that I check around the map for diamonds. The first one is the tower wall in front of the map near the entrance. It's like near like the um where you enter the school, there's like this big wall thing with towers on it, and there's some diamonds on top of there sometimes. There's also one behind, like in front of the school, in like the back of the map, where you can also go there and check for some diamonds on top of that. Another good place is inside and around the pool area. So of course, you guys probably know that they appear inside of the pool, but you can also check on the shells chair thingy, because they can spawn there. You can also check like on top of the yellow platform thingy where the diving boards are you can go there as well um, another place you should check is around the ballroom area because there are a few diamonds there and pretty much any other place in the school as well to check for diamonds you can check actually there are diamonds by the tent still it's not like how it used to be where there's just like one outside the tent they can now there's one diamond that can appear in front of the tent but they can also appear inside of the tent as well so make sure to check inside and in front of the tent another place you can check is on the beaches but one thing is that on the beaches they will appear as shells which are a lot smaller than the hearts so make sure you look very closely so you can find all the shells on the beach another place to check is on top of the school there's like this big flat area on top of the school where there's like some random bleachers in the sky for some reason so you can just check there they can appear underneath the bleachers or anywhere on top of that big flat area and they can appear pretty much anywhere on the map so i'm just saying these are the spots where i usually check when i don't know where all the diamonds are but just keep a keen eye out while you're flying around campus too because they can appear anywhere on the map but those are places that i usually check if i don't know where any diamonds are at that time 
And the fourth not so known tip and the last tip of today's video actually is that you can only type one letter in the computer class and keep on collecting diamonds elsewhere if you're the only person on the server. It will not get rid of points if you only type one letter and you're the only person there. Once you type one letter, you can basically just like leave the class and get diamonds. Or you can just do the class. It doesn't really matter what you do. You'll just get an A plus anyways if you're the only person there. If you have any other tips, make sure to let me know in the comments so other people can find more comments and I can also find more tips if you want. And yeah, these tips are actually not going to be really used anymore once the new school comes out, but I'm just making this video so you guys can have this for farming when the new before the new school comes out. And for some odd reason, if you want to farm after the new school comes out in this realm, you can also use these tips, but I doubt you would probably want to do that. Anyways, that's going to be about it. See you guys on the weekly live stream, weekend live streams where we're waiting for the new school. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!